Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Kalyan. I'm a neurosurgeon and spine surgeon from Hyderabad. VP shunt surgery is one of the common surgery which I usually perform. So in this video, one of the common question which people ask me after a VP shunt surgery, I want to answer. One of the common question is, when can we start driving after a VP shunt surgery? What I'm going to answer is one of the com which is which is uh, which is the answer for majority of my patients but not for every one of my patients so every patient will have a different answer but what are the general guidelines which we advise which, which we tell the patients for this question so when can you drive or tear a vp shunt uh, i mean to uh, patients usually have a confusion whether they can drive or when they can travel as a passenger. By the time you are discharged, in majority of my patients, they'll be fully conscious. Some of my patients would have not recovered completely from the VP shunt because they have some other conditions along with hydrocephalus. So this answer is for those of my patients who are fully conscious at the time of discharge. Because they are fully conscious at the time of discharge, there are no restrictions as you, for you as traveling as a passenger. That is, you are not driving. You are sitting as a passenger. There are absolutely no restrictions. You can travel as a passenger in a car, in a bus, in a train. But if you have to travel by aeroplane, then you'll have to consult your doctor whether you can travel by aeroplane or not. Traveling by aeroplane depends on your clinical condition and also on the type of vision which have been placed in you. So your surgeon who has placed this shunt will understand the kind of shunt which has been placed and he will advise you accordingly whether you can travel by aeroplane or not. Second one, most important one, can you drive or not? This depends on patient to patient, but on a broader aspect, in 90% of my patients, they are fit to travel four to six weeks after the surgery. So what decides whether you are fit for surgery or not? One, you should be completely asymptomatic. That is, you should not have any headache, you should not be drowsy, and you should be fully conscious. You should not be having any seizures. You should not have any persistent headache or vomiting. You should not have any vomitings. You should not have any fever or redness over the incision site sutures. All these are the signs which shows that your shunt is functioning well, your shunt is not blocked, or your shunt is not overdraining, and your shunt is not infected. If you fit into this criteria, you can start driving four to six weeks after your surgery. 